What's up everybody, welcome back to the Mars Show. It's time for another episode of the 2021 Fantasy Football Pick'em. This is week five. And if you're new to this, here's how it goes. I show you guys how I did last week on my rankings and my score of a previous game. And then I go ahead and set my lineup for this current week's game. And uh, I may look into uh, to the new Thursday night game coming up to see if I have anybody playing. So that's simple. So there it goes. Now, huh, boy, man, I'm not having no good luck this year. Like, oh boy, this has been a this has been a hard year, guys, in the fantasy football. Like, oh man, as you see, that's highlighted in purple. Uh, one and three. So yeah, one and three. What sucks was I was actually leading most of the games uh, last week. It wasn't toward the end. I just my team just. The, that was it, and another team just came back and just, oh boy, man, I'm looking good, not looking good. This is not a, a good start to the fantasy football season. So let's go and take a look at how I did uh, last week. So let's go to matchup, quick we won to week four. So there we go. I was projected to win. You see that? I was projected to win. But look what really happened. 122.82 to 112.82. So, lost by pretty much 11 points. Uh, yeah. That, as you see, uh, this this what happened. Like, man, it's just... Uh, it's multiple, multiple of things. Uh, Devontae Adams only got half the points. Cooper Cup pretty much got half a point. Yeah, there you go. And then I didn't realize my kicker was on IR. I didn't realize it. It was already too late. And Dallas defense is pretty good. Not too bad. And see on my bench. Uh, yeah, it would have made a difference. So, yeah. Well, actually, if I had a kicker, it probably would have made a difference. So, yeah, that's how it happens sometimes, guys. That's you know, this is heartbreak. You project to the win, you start looking good, then the other team pulls away and you can't do anything about it. So, yeah, so I'm just trying to move on. You know, just gonna keep moving, just keep keep going. So, enough of that. Let's go ahead and look into week five. All right, here, people. So, um, Cooper Cup already played this past Thursday, played Seattle, so he's already done. So, he got 16 points, not too bad. Uh, as you see, projected to have 18.8, but got 16.2. So, all right, so let's go ahead and see here. Josh Allen is playing Sunday night against KC. Um, of course, I'm keeping him in. No. Pretty much, as you see, I'm probably usually keep in the, the usual suspects. Uh, Devontae Adams keep in. Cream Hunt uh, will be in. Let's see here. Cooper Cup. You got Hunt. Fournette will stay in. My tight end. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep in. Well, I have to. Cause I think he actually did pretty good last week. I think I don't remember. Um, so everything looking good. So my thing is, I'm trying to figure out: should I keep in Sanders or put in Crowder? Crowder had a touchdown last week. He looked good last week. He looked really good. Like, you no, know, uh, if that Jets team could put it together, you no, know, they ain't gonna make waves, but they could probably pull up some wins. So I'm trying to figure. Out what should I do with this one? Um, they are going against Atlanta's defense. So let me see here what they say. Uh, Jets. Yeah, he's going against a horrible, horrible defense. So you know something? I'm gonna put him in. 
So let's see. So we'll roll with Jay Crowder. I went and got a kicker this time. Uh, McLaughlin with Cle uh, McLaughlin with Cleveland. And Dallas and Tampa Bay's defense. Oh boy. Hmm. Dallas got the Giants. The Giants suck. But Tempe has Miami. And Miami sucks too. Which one's giving me more points? Because. Ooh. Let's see here. I want to see. Oh, I thought maybe talk about Miami's offense, whatever. So, where they rank. So, you know something? But Dallas defenses got takeaways on takeaways. Oh, my God. Them, them boys are, are flying all over the field. Like, Dallas defense is legit. Who man. Like, like, this is a tough one right here, honestly. This is a real tough one. Where am I at projected points right now? 131.84. So, you know, so I'm going to stick with Dallas because I think uh, Diggs already has a – Diggs has an interception every game so far. So, fingers crossed he gets another interception today. But, yeah, Dallas defense. Oh, man, that's – whew. Them boys are flying. Like, them, them boys are, are legit. So, this is what I'm rocking with, people. So, let's go and see the matchup. Um, okay. All right, he's still projected to win 135.82 to 131.84. 85, excuse me. And let's see who he has. Carr, McLaurin, McLaurin Evans, Barkley, Taylor, Henry, D Higgins, Bass, and New England's defense. Okay. So hopefully my defense can stop his running back, Barkley, since he already have it so. So, yeah, that's what we're looking. So, right now, I'm projected to lose, but as you guys saw, I was projected to win last week and lost. Maybe well reversal. It shows I'm projected to lose and I actually win. It's possible. So, yeah, that's how I'm looking, guys. So, how are you doing out there on fantasy football this week? Comment below. Let me know how you're doing. If you're in the same boat as I am, 1 and 3, hell, 0 and 4, there's just talk and chat, whatever. Or are you 4-0? and Are you 3-1? and 2-2. Two and two. Tell me how you guys doing out there. Now, comment below. Let's chat. Let's talk about these lineups. You guys want to uh, discuss and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm standing right now. Just need a win. Need to get back up to standings. And like I said, uh, when you got money involved and stuff like this, it's heartbreaking, as you guys know. Because you're invested. Financially invested. So... I at least want to get at least some of my money back when it comes to the weekly payouts on the highest score. Well, at least have a chance to uh, make the playoffs. So, uh, I just want to have a good chance, people. So, but other than that, that's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up as you see on the screen right now. Don't forget to like and share the video with other people. And we'll see you next week. So, good luck to everyone out there on week five of the fantasy football. Uh, line up so you know if, if you're down and haven't won a game yet I hope you guys get a win I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for you you know especially if you're going against someone that's you can maybe possibly knock them out early or such or if you're going against someone that's 4-0 you're 0-4 knock his ass out you no know, give him his first loss no that'd be that'd be sweet that's, that's pretty cool to see that's it guys and where's my baby Zoe we'll see you next time Peace.